Gucci and Macheta was born on July 21, 1944, in Lagos with Ibo parents. She moved to Britain in 1960 and went to school in London. She wrote fiction-based literature on sexual and racial politics. Her first novel was In the Ditch, published in 1972. She then wrote The Slave Girl in 1977 and The Joys of Motherhood in 1979. Other works include Destination Biafra in 1982, The Rape of Shavi in 1983, Gwendolyn in 1989, and Kahinde in 1994, as well as some children's books. The Slave Girl won the New Statesman Jock Campbell Award. In 1983, she was selected as one of 20 Best of Young British Writers by the Book Marketing Council. Bucci lectured in the United States during 1979 and returned to Nigeria in 1980. Jenny and Arthur Arlington adopted Julie, a white baby girl, and a Chester, a Nigerian-born boy. The Arlingtons lived in a white English town, and Chester was one of the few black children there. Chester knew that he did not fit in, and the feeling followed him all through his childhood. Chester went to stay with Enoch Ugwo, an Igbo man that he had met at work. I woke up, it was seven I waited till eleven Just to figure out that no one would call I think I've got a lot of friends But I don't hear from them What's another night all alone? When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a night In search of his heritage, Chester trades passports with a Nigerian co-worker and goes to stay with his brother in Africa. He searches for his true father, but is unsuccessful and eventually gets badly sick. Esther, his girlfriend from Liverpool, brings him back to England where Arthur has died. After his recovery, Chester meets up with Julia again. Look up, you're standing next to me, what a feeling 